That makes sense. I got it. Can you come full wide, please, video? He was he was talking. I think it's what they've gone to find out is whether or not we're going to set that full CTD wide. right up on top. Yeah, Roger that. Our adult supervision is back. Yeah. Yeah, of course, Flair. Of course, it's Flair. Dirk knows Flair. Okay, we have a decision. <laughs> Say what, Dirk? We have a decision for the CTD. Love to hear it. Um, so the plan would be grab it where we were just planning on grabbing it before. Okay. Um, or maybe Josh, if you can assess, but where we we're going to put it is above the bumper bar. Yeah. In that gap. In the gap. Above can you the bumper bar. Tilt up there, Dave. So yep. see what we're looking for. This box. Yes. And we're looking for. Uh, this surface area there. Oh, there. Okay. Just stuff it in there and call yeah, it a day. Yeah. Call it a day. Which side down? Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Just get it in the hole, I guess. Okay. Can I please see the arm? Yes, sir. Where are you? There you go. Sure. Oop, oop. Mm -hmm. All right. I already loosened this for my future convenience. Definitely on purpose. So, yeah. Uh, can I put it in with the white tube down? Like, can I put it in just like this? As long as you... Can you zoom, uh, go back down, look down and onto the porch? Go ahead. Good there, I think. Yeah, I think that cable is free. Yeah, um, tube down is fine. Tube down is fine, and I'll try to push it in. As so long the as it doesn't, the only thing is, like, we don't want it falling in the mud, obviously, right? Yeah, so yeah. So I'll try to let it go and push it away. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get it close and probably wait for good biz for that maneuver. We just stuff it into a bunch of things in the meantime. <sighs> Does that fit in there? I'm right. just gonna come up a wee bit more for you. Okay. Right about there. That sounds great. Yeah. Um. Can you tilt? Sorry, pan right a bit, please. Yeah, that's great. So I'm just halted for is here, Dirk, but let me know if you got any yeah, specific Yeah, just, just hold cuts. it. Hold there. You're okay. Um. You get your life sorted out? Yeah. Nice. Just recently? <laughs> just recently. I'm still yeah. working on mine. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good for you, man. Done life. Done life sorting. All right. Okay. Um, Should I go for it? Yeah, the thing is, you obviously see the ready rod on this side, but we also yeah. don't want to hit the other side going in, right? So... I've, I've played Operation before. I know the rules. Okay. Uh, there's a cable on the far side. What do you think of that? It's okay. okay. It, it can be placed on top of that cable. Thank you. But is it going to fit in this kind of box? I'm forcing it. No, it does not. Yeah, so you don't don't keep don't keep sticking it. Okay. Um. So the the next thing we can try would be the bullhorns. That yep. it can go on a bullhorn then. Yeah, with threaded rod, right? Yeah. Can you um, while you're sitting here see this anemone on the left hand side? Yes. Uh, can you scrape at it or just behind it? I just want to see if that is a pole sticking out or if that's because there might. There's a pole sticking out. Uh, I can point with a threaded rod. Yeah. There's a there's a pole sticking out right there. The tip of the threaded rod's on that on the uh, angle iron. I don't yeah. know about the anemone. Okay, so let's rather um, get it in the bullhorns on the left hand side of the platform. Left hand side, not the right hand side. No. Because I might be able to do the right hand side from where we are. Uh, okay, if you might can do be. that, I don't want to move over there because we just put that CTD there. Yeah, Roger. If and we can I don't do it without moving the vehicle. Uh, unfortunately. Let's move the vehicle and put it in the left-hand side. I don't want to move okay. over top of all that stuff. So we're going okay. right in through there. Let's yeah. give it just a, s a look, see before we go. Uh, maybe I can reach it. Uh, it's going to be at a pointing away from you almost, though. Yeah, it's not going to be great. 
When you say the... Oh, sorry, you're saying bullhorns. You're not bull saying horns. one of the corners. No, bullhorns, Oh, yeah. sorry, my bad. And you want to put the threaded rod in the bullhorn like, th like this angle kind of deal? Oh. Yeah, it's either... I mean, the corners... I can't even see the corner from here. Do you guys see it? Oh, I yeah. don't. I see the corner. Yeah, it's like right, right there. You see the little plate on the top, the little nameplate? It's just to the left of that. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's going to interfere with those echo sounders. No, go for the bullhorn. Roger, bullhorn. So you, want us to, that? you want us to approach the platform pretty much 90 degrees off from where we are now, is that right? That's correct, yeah. Okay. So, just... Yeah, you got it. Let me, uh, if you tilt... And before you move, can I just see a little more of the arm? I'm going to tuck this in yeah. get it out of smashing zone. Okay, I'm uh, halted there, but the arm's still alive. Okay. Why is this not? Oh, neat. Okay, that's fine. You might get your wish with that scrape anyway. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're bullhorning because it doesn't fit where we wanted to put it. Yeah. So they're going to go for the bullhorn. We're putting it up top. It might just pl be in the way of those echo sounders, the, the AZFPs up there, or whatever that one is. And There's one now. No, we're going to put it into this bullhorn idea. Yeah, so unfortunately it didn't fit. It's going to be more vertical now. Well, horizontal. It'll, it'll still be horizontal. But away from the junction box, at least. I think you're Which good is there. What I know Steve yeah, I'm just going to come around a bit more to give you an angle on it. Yeah, hey, come um, on. I'll be, I can figure it out. Yeah? Yeah. Whenever you're secure and safe, I can send it in there. Not too concerned. Burp. Great viz right now. I say it's only semi sarcastically. Mm -hmm. You can see stuff. It's wild. What a concept. Yeah. Hmm. I'm happy there if you're happy. If you're able to stay even like that stable is fine with me. Yeah, I'm kind of in the air a little bit, but. Can I go for it? Sure. Back up a touch, or are you good? I'll see if I can. Let me give it a quick shot here. Ah, you have to back up. Yep, unfortunately. Okay, try that. Yeah, no, we're still going back. Yeah. Asian back all the time. Roger. <laughs> See the shadow of it, so it's still not. Yeah, that's it. Oh, come on. Well, get it really close to the camera, ideally. <laughs> you gotta line it up in the scope. Yeah, yeah no kidding. I can't see shit. All right, stand by. There you go. Oh, I hate how close this is to the camera. I got a shoulder out.
That road's quite long, huh? It's, it's yeah, very, very pointy. Okay. Another time I talked about ground fault monitoring. Here we go. Hotel. They are. Sorry. That's okay. Doing the ground fault okay. monitor thing. Okay, mate. Try that. Oh, whoops. Oh, come on. Work with me here. Uh, we need to come back around. Yeah. Oh, that was, oh. Almost, that was almost there. I'm like, the arm is way in the vehicle right now. Yeah, if I come back too much, I'm not going to see it. Yeah, I think we got to risk that. I can't, can't do it from here. Yeah. That's probably fine there. Nope, it's not. Can you land or are you trying not to land? No, I can't, I can't hear. Are you? Um, Ed, can you hear me? I think we've come beyond the end of it just there. Okay, stay there if you can. Right here? Right there, yeah. Uh, um, could I have the video with a closed caption on the upper monitor, please, again? Thank you. Where are you? Uh, we're, we're off the end. You yeah, see yeah, it? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, we might need to go, go left more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just a little more. <sighs> this is not uh, super simple. Yeah, out of curiosity, um, why don't you land and try it, Trevor? Because I'm not flying. Oh no, but is that is that the preferred? It's easier. I just, I just don't know. Uh, it just depends. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, Dave, do what you gotta do. Copy. I'm gonna bring the camera back in. That's me. Sorry, should have warned you. Yeah, that's okay. I'm on my sonar more than anything else. Yeah, Roger. Right. Should have done that earlier. Okay, something's not right here. Are you it almost like we're caught. Are you landed on the monument? No, I, I can't come up. See? Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. Okay, let's do a quick all stop. Can you look down at the porch? I'm going to drop this on the porch. Keep going, tilt, tilt up. Yeah. That's fine there. Looks like you're pretty underground or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, Josh, you jump in here.
we're we're coming. We're, I can come across and come away, but I can't come up. And I can't see behind me. I haven't gone full stick. I just, I've gone to about 45. Okay, yeah, that's better. I've just lateraled away from it. Yeah, we don't, yeah. How far away what, did we find the CTD from where we are now? Yeah. Where did we find the Yeah. Because that will be on the end of the monument. Likely, yeah. About 10 meters from where we Yeah. Yeah. So I would. Uh, I'll just come on lateral. I've pulled back about 10 meters. And I'm lateral and back in and coming down, and then we'll just come in on it. Okay, what's option one again? Go in, approach slow, see if we can locate the monument. Yeah. Then we can work around it. Uh, okay. Uh, Just let me look at this table for seeing if we can w go around the other side. Uh, yeah, we have to put it on that side. We don't have a choice. So okay. if we go back and look at the, try and see, get out of the way of the monument. But okay. and I don't know that we're going to see anything. No, I don't think we're going to see it. We'll be fine. Yeah. That'll soon clear up, don't worry. It is, yeah. yeah. Yep. I know you gave a great explanation before, but for the people just joining us, uh, the question came up again. Yeah, it's the same deal. We're either sitting on it, or there's something okay, here um, that's stopping us getting on the seafloor. So let's just, can I, I'll, I'll answer that question like 10, 15 minutes, is that all right? Sure. Just so I want to focus, but then yeah, I will happily answer that. We actually have way more of a pro on CTDs, Steph. So when, uh, when we have some time, maybe Steph, you can walk up through why is the CT important? Why is it here? And what makes this site important for CTDs? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I can. That's that's exactly where I'm aiming for. Just there. Going to try. Can you give me a, a view with the... Yeah. yeah, cheers. Yep.
about the low there, I think. On the other camera. Um, do we want to try this with the arm? Sure. Do you want to see if we can do it? Try it. Just... Forest in time. Somewhere around that distance. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah. That's seventy five percent down, yeah. Well, give that a go, see how we get on, mate. Yep. Do you want me to back up? Maybe a bit of wrist rotate. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, there we go. Something changed. There you go. Okay, you kind of want to guide that all the way in, Josh, otherwise it's just going to bounce out. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Oh, no. Yeah. Tell me 
I'm yeah, just going to try it. and come up on that. Uh, or not. Yeah. Um, I mean, the bending is not the worst. If you can still guide it in, maybe that'll even add some friction for I it. I can't. But you're going to have a hell of a... I can barely, yeah, I, I couldn't hold that. that. Right. Okay. Hang on, I need to square myself up here. Sure. Um, all right, so where we can put it next is see those bull horns. If you if there's a scooch forward situation, um, we'll put it behind the oily there, um, just to the left. Just to the left. Yeah, um, square on right in the middle of the frame. And just what on top. Uh, in between where, yeah, see in that hole, that square? Oh, yeah. In there. But there is Shit. a junction box back there, so and I don't know how well it's there, too, fit. I don't like. Stand by. It doesn't fit. What's that? Nope. No, not with this arrangement. I think you could go for it from there, mate. Yeah, if you can thread yeah, it in there. I'm just going to try and sit down a little bit more sure. and stabilize. We're on plan C here. There you go. Try that. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what else. Yeah, you kinda I got gotcha. you. You kind of want to turn it in there. You know, like, uh, oh, you turn it. yeah, you know, like, try and use the space you know, like that, if possible. Doesn't fit. Um, it's in. There you go. Maybe can you reposition your, your arm and... Opposite way, what do you mean? <laughs> Where's best visit okay. we've had all day? Too. Um, Josh, yeah, stand by. Um, if we can, if you can reposit, regrip and turn it, um, if you can imagine yeah, flipping this side, uh, oh, wrong tool, draw. <laughs> you want see how, like, right now it's facing in, but if you can, like, flip it so that the other side is pointing this direction. A full 180. You want, uh, 180? You want to pipe down? Why pipe down? Uh, the reason why is there's a temperature sensor on this side, and right now it's really snugged up against the junction box. <laughs> so the, the worry is from scientists is that with the electronics inside that junction box, it actually heats the water slightly right around the temperature sensor, which throws off the measurement. That's actually better than it was before. But yeah, it looks more solid, but it, uh, this rotation is going to be the key.
So, Steph, the temperature sensor's on the other side. There we go. Yeah, this is the top facing mm -hmm. us. Is this a yeah, I think you just moved the arm as pressure come off. Oh, okay. All right. Hang on, I need to. Yeah, we're looking at that side. Try and back out. Yeah, we're looking bit. at the other side. Yeah, that's what's facing us. Yeah. Where's the pump getting its water from? Right here, right? This is some pump pushing. There you go, mate. That's. So I might have the to pump pumps from this direction in, or does it suck through? Well, unfortunately, I'm going to end up fucking your vis up here. It sucks. Yeah. Okay. So it's pulling water from here. Yeah. So it's intakes are right here. Okay. Yeah. So we got to rotate it. This is not. Um. It's pretty here. Hey, Trevor and Josh, is that ready rod making a hook-like thing that we can hook over the top? Well, can we look at it? Oh, no, it's just like that. All right, never mind. Keep going. I think it'll be pretty good. If we put it other end first, um, we're pulling water from the outside of the platform and pushing it into the platform, so it Yeah. <laughs> this should be pretty good though. It's still pulling water from the outside. It's just like every time, because we can't see um, what we're, like, we can't see all the pieces when doing this. Okay, following you up. And uh, the arm is so strong. Every time we we move it or put it down on something That'll and try to move it there again, you go. any connector or cable that gets caught could get ripped out and we wouldn't know it. Yeah, you got the pipe just under you there. Josh, if you can just put it in a place where it won't fall out. Roger. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh catch it. I think place it. Uh, take it by the. Can you reposition it using the tube? So get your. Just push it in further. Or lift it up and place it in further. Stressful, huh? Is it not going? Yeah. No, it's a. Uh, it looked like it was going in better if you go off to the left. Cool. Yeah, that's shoving the vehicle back. Can you mm -hmm. lift it up higher, Josh? Yeah, now try. Still jamming. Yeah, now place it there, maybe. Does that stay? Uh, yeah, that'll stay. Perfect. A great spot. Lovely. Can you, um, uh, I'd like to just see where that corner of that grating is. If it's sitting up against the rim, that's probably decent. Okay, um, so you just want to zoom in on here, Derek? Yeah, yeah I think so. Zoom in. Um, Okay, guys, Just zoom in onto that. If it looks suspicious, 
we'll try uh, and hold that. get it slightly more vertical, but no, I don't, I don't think we're going to get better than that. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I don't think we're going to any any more than we're just going to place it right on the connectors, which isn't great either. Um, that's as good as it's going to get, I think. So a compromise between. Uh, okay, guys, let's come back sensor out. Sensor on the right side and security. Oh. We'll go. We'll go look at it again later if we have time. But I think we should plug oh, it in wait. now. Okay. You want to jump in? Right. Okay. Um, the next step is um, you want to free the bundle from your porch, and then go plug it in. So, if we if we do have time at the end of the dive, just because we have so many constraints at the back end, we can come back, have a look at it, play around with it a little more, but. I'm worried that if we don't get it plugged in, we're I'm not going to have anything. Can I go sure. Yeah. 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 I mean, definitely. It's just now we've got something. Yeah. That that sensor's not right on the JB. It's outside the platform. It's probably pretty good as long as it doesn't fall out. Rikki, and you've confirmed that J4 has been turned off. You've got confirmation. So we're grabbing the connector to free this, is that correct? Yeah, Roger. I can get the camera closer if you want, like physically closer. Yeah, totally. Nice. J4. Yeah. Dirk, can you remind me this going into the no uh, Fletcher? Way. Yeah, this goes into the Fletcher. That's the easiest way to pull that out of there, yeah. Okay, and then we're going to be putting the connector onto the recently removed dust cap spot? That, that is correct, yeah. Roger. You can fletch it now. That's fine. Pucks out. Uh, sorry, I'm a liar. Pucks in. Yeah, Raj. Uh, you could do either. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if pucks in or out. Doesn't matter. Can't uh, see. Hey, let me get the camera closer to you. Is your cable free of this bundle? So we're not going to be pulling on it, eh? Uh, hey, Josh, could you got a headset there? I feel like if you put it in the Fletcher now, you're going to trap the bundle. Yeah, I think the bundle will be trapped if you. So what Dirk's saying there is if you flick the bundle out first, and then we're kind of wrapped around somehow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think you got to go pucks in, unfortunately. Yeah, it's really all twisted up, isn't it? How did that get that way? Just oh, hold on. Um, just don't knock that. Don't pull on that. That's going to pull the CTD. Okay, that's good, yeah. As long as we stay on this side of it. Is that... Whoops, sorry, what was that, Hillary? Hillary. Good thing it's full of mud, that'll make it easy. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Octopus attack. Oh no, <laughs> Octopus is not happy about this. <laughs> It's really, it's not no, impressive. No, he's biting. Either. No, get away. That's my ODI. No, get your own. Get your own ODI. You aggressive. Uh, wow. How do you deal with this? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is the dive plan, Dirk? Okay. This is actually, attack. this is way, jumping way ahead. <laughs> hey, look, I got the dust cap off. Yeah, parking position's free. <laughs> so that's neat. It's uh, right there. It's still in the Fletcher. It's not on in the Fletcher. It's on the Fletcher, but it is not in the Fletcher. All right. Octopus is helping you. Yeah, thanks, I, bud. I, I, he thinks he's helping. <laughs> <laughs> he came from underneath that platform. Came from below. He was there earlier. He yeah. was kind of... Hey, what do we do now? I 
We want to face the connector panel again. But uh, we have a we have a loose parking position, Dirk. Uh, just okay. Can we before we move, just zoom in on that corner of the CTD frame? Uh, yeah. Let me know when you're halted there, Josh. I Kay. think we're okay. Um, if we just look, I just want to get one final view of where it's sitting. I think there's a piece of ready right. Uh, bottom it. left or bottom right? Bottom. Yeah, I want to really see the bottom right, but I don't. Okay, go ahead, zoom in, please. Um, and probably good there. So, which side is that? That's right below there. It's tough to say what's down there. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really give me much information by looking at this. That corner. Yeah, okay. That doesn't really tell me much, but Roger. let's go make the connection and hopefully we can take off without losing that parking position. Roger that. Okay, come full wide, please, video. So, oops, that's wrong. Oh no, he's still on the cable now. <laughs> yeah, I don't have faith that we will maintain this parking position on here. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Okay, I'll do my darndest. Josh, can you just bring the cable farther out? Maybe you can, like, nuzzle it in a bit, uh, nuzzle the parking position in a bit. Yeah, just try to get it this outboard of that so it doesn't pull it off. Can't see. Let me give you a little bit of a head. Uh... No, I can't do it. I won't go. There we go. <coughs> do you see the octopus attack? <laughs> Hopefully it just doesn't bundle all the cable together as we're trying to fly with it. <laughs> it's a two, three meter cable then at that point. When you can, Josh, just nuzzle that on and get the cable outboard as much as possible. Ooh, getting pushed. Yeah, all in one fell swoop. Yeah, totally, yeah. There we go, now I'm not. Yeah, that's good. Okay, keep going if you want. I'm going to start moving over to that connector panel. Yeah, roger that. Thank you. Oh, Rike, did you get confirmation from systems? They re uh, at the And initially when we requested it at the oh, start of the dive. Nuzzle it again. Hit it it again. did say it's off, right? Nuzzle it. Nope, there it goes. Two and nine, okay. Can you mark that spot, please? Yes. Too bad. Yeah, I was really just teetering there. There was no. There it is. It's right there. You see it? Something. Oh yeah. Could just grab that later. Uh, uh, yeah, I can yeah, see it. Yeah, just just gr grab it now if you can. Okay. This is kind of a no man's land over here. I mean, I'm. A meter and a half from the platform, but I'm go ahead, Josh. That we're gonna sit on it or something. Putting that down, grab the parking position, put it on the porch or in the front box. We can put it in the toolbox for now. Do we need it again on this dive, Dirk? Um, no. We're recovering that 400 volt CTD. Do we, we need to? Yeah, we will potentially need it. Yeah. Okay. Try that, see if that works. Nope. Dang. <sighs> I might be over top of it now, sorry. 
I gotta come off and back up again. Uh, bummer. Yeah, I dr drove over it. I don't even know what's happening, if I'm honest. Yes, Josh, I like that idea. Yeah, okay, go for it when you can see it. I'm landed again. I can't do the, I can't clear it with the horizontals. It started sliding, so I'm just stopped. Hey, back row, while we're waiting for this dust to clear, we're going to do a pilot handover. Hey.
is a toppled monument. So if you're approaching the uh, entrance lap from here, you can actually see a little shadow there. That's a toppled over monument, probably. All right, while we're waiting for our viz to clear here, uh, we have Steph with us, and she is going to answer, uh, for those of you just joining us, what is a CTD and what does it do? Hello, so CTD is an acronym for conductivity, temperature, and depth, and it's a pretty important instrument for oceanographers. It can tell us about the salinity of the water, the temperature, uh, how dense the water yeah. is. Uh, we also have <laughs> sensors for measuring o dissolved oxygen content in the water. And this uh, can tell us about the environmental conditions of the area. Um, we, at this particular site, we have like 13 years of data and it's quite useful for um, knowing when upwelling events are happening through uh, the year. So it's a very important site for oceanographers. Um, and we're really hoping we can get this instrument connected and back giving good quality data. Thanks. Hello, hello, hello. This is Jake. I'm in the Herc seat. Hi, Jake. Currently facing that if way. you hit the mute, see the. It'll unmute you. All right, so. Yeah, and then we're on SBL. We just had an ROV change crew change so everyone's just going to get back up to speed and then we'll continue on All right ROV when you are ready let me know and I can walk you through the next steps I'm ready okay you're ready Okay, so on your screen right now, we're just still waiting a little bit for visibility. We lost one of the parking positions that are the, they're like the plugs for these connectors. And I, we believe it's sitting right here. And if it is there, we just want to grab it and put it on a secure place on deck. Thank you. And then once that operation's been done before we, but we don't want to move the ROV because we don't want this connector to fall off the porch. So before we move, we have to hold the connector in a position that we can eventually plug it in to the platform. So step one is we want to see whether this right here is the parking position or not. There's like a black shape behind there. You see it, it kind of comes and goes. And I think that's what we're, that's what we're looking for. Okay. But you can't really hurt it. So if you grab it with the, with the uh, manipulator, you can place it on your porch and go from there. It's a parking position that's uh... Yeah, that's a parking position. And they're not holding on, right? There's no, uh, they don't have the uh, port side manipulator out. What does it look like? I don't think so. Yeah, it's a it's a black piece of um, plastic on the one side. It's it's I don't know, maybe ten inches long, four or five inches wide, and on the other side, I think you can't see it from this angle, but I think on the back side of it, there's a um, the titanium receptacle for one of these connectors. So, okay. if we give it a little bit more time here, this will blow over, and then we should be able to see it. Okay. Judging by the uh, sonar there, they can't. We can't reach where it needs to be plugged uh, into no. the instrument platform. No, you can't. Um, where we want to face the connector we're looking for is kind of 
just to the left of center of that face of the platform looking at us right now. Mm -hmm. So when you do pick this up, we want to be in a position to still make that connection. Roger. And left to do on this dive is we want to plug this in. We want to confirm that it's working. And then we're going to look at our time because we we have till about five, five or six before the um, the pilot has to get off. So that's kind of our stop at the end of this dive. So we we're kind of kind of juggle priorities as uh, as we approach that timeline. Okay. So what we've been finding with the visibility every time we work anywhere on the southwest side of this frame, and then trying to come back on the northeast side, we have to wait quite a while because all that dust is kind of blowing towards us and it takes quite some time for it to pass us by, but um, once it's what's by, it we'll like just if keep... the uh, ROV's not sitting in the mud? Pardon? What's it like when they uh, come up off bottom a few meters? Uh, it's hard because the visibility is so poor, so once you're off bottom, it's really hard to see and track what's going on. But it's better than... It's better. Like two, three meters up in the column, and the visibility is good. It's just once you get on in the weeds here, it's... But the connector panel is about 30 centimeters off the bottom, so... Roger. And we need the parking position for... Parking position, we need... Well, it's... We there's two that? things. It's kind of a... It's uh, there. You know, it's yeah, quite valuable. Know expensive. Can we and, get that uh, after we get this thing plugged in? We can, and that's what the original plan was. It's just, if we see it now, I think we should just try and grab it, even though we can, can we just see that shape. Because once we once we move forward in the direction of the connector panel, we'll probably land on it or bury it, and then it'll be gone. Right. So I think if we could try and grab that black piece right. now, and it is either the connector panel or, or it's either the parking position or it's not. Okay. We're not even sure it is that. So and The risk of poking around in there with a manipulator right now. So we either do one of two things. We... <coughs> uh, I don't want to do anything with that connector sitting there loose on yeah. the porch like that. So either we pick that up and put it in the port side arm in the magnum, or we pick it up and um, fly over and grab onto the platform and plug it in and then deal with the um, parking position after. Yeah, I feel like if we move, if we move, we're not gonna. It's unlikely we're gonna find it again. Roger. Okay. So if you want to put it in the five, uh, I do. Yeah, go it's ahead. It's a seven, yeah. actually. Pardon? It's a seven function, the magnum. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Danny, get the magnum out there where we can see it. Okay. And then uh, pick up that connector and. Put it in the magnum and maybe right in the vessel. A little clear and we'll have a. Um, you're also going to want it out in kind of the sweet spot for when we go over the platform. We'll probably try and uh, grab onto the platform. So now I have to sit in the mud. Uh, Dan, I'm having a really hard time out hearing you. Okay, so we can now just confirm that that is, in fact, the parking position. You can see the pin receptacles right below there. Yeah, right there. Okay. Can you hear me now, Danny? Yeah, just a little. I'm trying uh, to turn me up a little. Ah, there we go. Okay, so what am I doing with this line? We're gonna um, probably wait for Viz now. But yeah, uh, it just went away. Fish is throwing it up. <laughs> and I want to pick up that connector and secure it in the in the magnum there, so we don't wind up with it in the mud as well. Okay. Okay. Um, pick the magnum up a little higher. It's pretty low there. Okay, wrist, wrist up a little. Yeah, something like that. That's probably good. Have to be real high. So, so you want to pick up 
pick up the connector with the Magnum? No, I'm going to pick it up with the craft and uh, okay. the hand jaws. it off to the Magnum. Yep. Okay. Just take your time. What we don't want to do is wind up with that connector in the mud because. Okay, so that connector with the wire coming out of it, correct? Correct. Okay, hydraulics coming on. Yeah, I'll give you. Just be careful around the. Grab it in such fashion where you can hand it off to the. Uh, are you guys alright if we uh, grab the connector around the titanium bit there? Uh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so if you grab it by the handle and put the uh, titanium bit in the as long as you as long as you grab it um, perpendicular to it and yeah, not, not in line pins yeah otherwise you might bend those pins You just don't want to grab it on that mold. So you can't, don't grab it there. Yeah. Nice and slow, Danny. Make sure you get a good grip on it. Slide it in from the end of the tunnel, say. Yeah, and just constrain it. Uh, when you close the jaws? Yep, go ahead. That's yeah, hold on before you let go. Before you let go, hit the unlock there, Jake. Okay, you ready? Right? Hold you on. Good? I'm closed. I'm closed there. Yeah, but hit the oh. unlock. Oh, yeah, yeah. lock jaw. Go. Thank you. Okay, you good? Danny. Yep. Good. You got a really good grip on it there. Looks like you got a fingertip grip. I can push it in tighter if you need to. Yeah. Uh, Look, uh, zoom in on it a little. Okay. What do you think? Is it going to stay there? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> I don't want to find out the hard way. I think uh, I think that's uh, that's all right. Um, grab it and give it a little tug there, Danny. See if it's going to stay in there. Pretend like you're going to actually grab it. Pretty secure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with that. All right. If you look back down in the yeah. mark there, there should be a uh, twenty-five thousand dollar yes. parking position in the mine. You can it. swing that magnum to the left Just a little. There. Ish. Here, I'll swing the magnum away. Just to your left in front of the porch. Can you tell if the porch is uh, all the way in? Or they have it pushed out a bit? Just give it a bump in, Jake. See if a bump? The right. porch track there. Uh, one below that. Oh, bump in. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, pull it all the way in. What's that? Oh. 
right, wait for this. So it's straight ahead. What's up? I see the thing. You must have better vision than me. I, <laughs> I I've been looking it. at it the whole time. Working on my eagle eyes. person that needs to see it sitting over there with a the manipulator in his hand, <laughs> in their hand. I mean, I could just start poking Patiently around waiting the for visibility. Uh, so like, you see the orange handle? Nope. That's down at the bottom <laughs> of the screen? It's, it's right above it, about a foot. Oh, you're thinking? I kind of can see it. You s there's like a white circle that like you should be able to there. see. Yeah. Well, we need a good enough visibility. Yeah, you can. Let's pick it up. Can't we look around, around in the mud as soon as we touch the mud, it's, we'll have zero vis again. I saw it when it came clear for a minute there. Mm -hmm. While we're sitting here, um, this cable, this that's is right. from the CTD we've already um, disconnected. Around so that's like a loop of cable that kind of comes in behind the RV right now. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Danny, as soon as you can see it, you're clear to pick yeah, it up. Yeah, I, no, I see it. Yeah, I can kind of see it. I'm going to get the arm closer without jamming it in the mud. Yeah. Nice and slow. Remember to tuck in. Of it. Yeah, that's right where it was. A hole for a manipulator camera. That one you moved from the jars should be wired onto the end of the minute. I think I see it. Bubble cam. Is that what that is? I can't tell. Oh uh, yeah, that one's the bubble yeah. cam. So you could have bought us up and if cam for it, but they paid for us to sit here and wait for biz. I know, right? <laughs> That's fish is helping. Yeah, of course. Guide us to it, fish. Slow down that sonar and see if you get a better picture on it. It's the trackball. You can speed it back up again if you want after that, but... Uh, what you touch there, it's uh, resolution. It's up over to the right. There's one that says high bit, uh, high whatever. Yeah, paints a little. Yeah, that's slower. Yeah. Here, let me come play with it. <coughs> oh,
No waiting on this. Still don't see it. There is an artifact in the bubble cam that looks kind of like the parking position, but it's really hard to know with contrast. Oh, that that smudge? That's yeah. just a smudge. Never mind then. It just stays there. It's been annoying me this whole time. You remember all the mud we picked out of that thing when we replaced those seals? <clears throat> That's why I'm reluctant to use it as a backhoe. We can and do, but you know, the yeah. quad seals on the manipulator don't like it. I get mud packed in them and they start leaking. Looks like it's finally doing something. A little bit of clearing. Oh up. yeah. There we go. Oh, you can see it just below the below the manipulator. It's down here. Bring the manip up, Danny, and closer to the camera so you can see the end of it out of the mud. <coughs> I not do it, it the <laughs> <laughs> um, Move it to the right a little, spin the jaws and clean it up. So next time we can see it, you want to bring the manip a little closer to the camera and then move away towards it and then try and bonk it with the with the jaws so you have a okay. clear view of the end of the manipulator the whole time if you can't see it stop you'll just wind up with it in the mud yeah I think you're that's the camera uh, racked out or racked in Jake Out. Okay. It's full out, Dan. Oh, uh, no, I was talking about uh, the physical position of it, Pete, and whether it was... You can zoom in a little if you want. Just a little bit. It physically slides forward and back in the vehicle, so I didn't know uh, where it was. something to be aware of, Danny, so all the other times we've been using the manipulator, the camera's been slid back, so it's now about 300 millimeter closer to the end, and it's sticking way out in front of the vehicle. Okay. You're, uh, Look down camera, did they, do we have that or did they put it back on the jars? Look down camera? Yeah, if you switch over to jar cam. Hotel camera. Oh, is that the downward looking cam? Yeah, turn that one off and turn bucket off, or rail off, starboard rail off and turn bucket on. Other one. Sorry, starboard rail cam off. Turn it off? Yeah, and yeah. then turn bucket on. Oh, bottom okay. left. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a great view. You can see everything. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a downward camera there, though. Okay, you can switch it back. Yeah. We want both the rail cams on for when we do. Because of the LED in it, it just blows it out. It's only good for less than half a meter to link in. It'd probably do all right if there wasn't so much stuff in the water. No? No, even the LED on it 
Oh, it's just too bright. Right, so close to the camera. It's meant to be like for gauges or two lane or something like that. Mm. For buckets. It works really well on our sample jar. Oh, okay, yeah. Because it's about like that far from the sample jar. What okay. if you like put a filter over the light? What's that? Like put a filter over the light? <laughs> yeah, we could. Danny's making a um, adapter cable so we can put one of our good connectors on there. I mean, our better cameras. Yeah. All right, we're almost there. Yeah, is that it? Right yeah, there? that's it. There's um, some of this visibility title. Yeah, it's probably title. So where are we at in that cycle? I don't know. But I was wondering it. I'm just not familiar with this area. Hmm. And I don't think it's on my surf app. There are several places up here we can yeah. only dive in slack tide because uh We find here that working both here in Strait of Georgia, it's it's summer is obviously not a great working environment. There's way too much going on in the water. Yeah. And then uh, tidal, it's a mix of you don't want no current. That's almost worst case. And then obviously strong current's not great, but it's yeah, flushing I can see the water. It now, Danny, if you can yeah. pick it up. Wow, I see something shiny there. Yeah, I definitely see something shiny. And then, ooh. Is that shiny a rope or something, or? No, I see the is hockey it, puck. Is it a hockey? Oh, I see a little black yeah, round thing. Like you can grab it's that. It's going to be high tide. And we're, mm -hmm. we're transferring you into a high tide. Mm -hmm. We were just in slack tide. Can you bring it over the? Uh, bring it closer to the front of the vehicle. Pan down. I'll the let the octopus, octopus steal it. Let the porch then. Oh, my rack back. Out, Jake. Oh, porch out. Yeah. Oh no, just rack back and look down. Let Danny bring it over the porch. So rack okay. the camera back. Leave the porch in. Sorry. Put this thing in the Fletcher, or put it in the bio box. Yeah, in the flex, in the Fletcher, um, because if we have time, we would like to recover one of those CTDs, and but in the Fletcher, ideally. But let me think about that for one second, actually. Yeah, you might want to think about that. Yeah, I think we can get it back out of the bio box. If you can get it out of the bio box, it's put in bio box. You're right. When we're up out of the mud, right now we, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, Biobox is the better call. We could get it in the Fletcher, but it would be ugly. It's just, by the time we get it in the Fletcher... Um, it's going to take probably yeah, half it's gonna an take hour too at least. Much, yeah, it's going to take too much time. Um, shake it off a little there, I think. Get some of the mud off of it.
Okay, put it in the box. There. Okay, tool tray out. It's a pretty big octopus. Yeah, it is. Just right. paid for your whole uh, whole time you're out here. <laughs> paid your day rate. <laughs> okay, when we get Viz again now, before you put that one away, um, Drop the parking position. you're going to want to get a really good stab grab on it in the um, magnum. So that means the tip of the jaws just like if this is the ODI, you want the jaws in the middle, but the tip not. You don't want too deep of a grab, because then when you go to push it in, it's going to hit the back of the connector. So you can see it in the uh, level camera there. If you want, you can um, swing the magnum back around. And then we'll... Uh, Yeah, let's uh, move the craft out of there and swing the magnum back closer to the camera. All right. When it hits the camera, you're too close. <laughs> <laughs> so, if it if it helps you, that cable needs to be down when we make the connection. So yeah, I'll do that. Grip one way or another. Uh, you can chase it with bubble a little there too. If you have me that, that'll give me control? something to do. Uh -oh. oh, Danny's got it over there. Could you multi multitask her? How you liking them uh, low ops dude joysticks? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait for it, guys. You can get close to it now, though, if you want. Take the wrist just a little to the left for him. So, hey Danny. Yeah. Bring the arm closer to the camera so you can see it. Right now you're 90 out from it. So you want to be, uh, have the yaw straight and uh, turn the, uh, Turn the magnum counter clock just a touch, Jake. Uh, wrist roll left. Top left button. Oh, wrist roll left. There you go. I'll bring it. Okay, hold what you got there, Danny. Now uh, bring your wrist right. Bring it a little closer so we can see it. Uh, okay. Well, let's look in both cameras. We'll get the bubble camera on it too. So you'll want a perfect grab there lined up straight. If you don't have that, it'll be very difficult to make the connection. And we can move the magnum to help you yeah, out. Yeah, I can move them. Looks like you gotta roll right to a little bit. Yes. Yeah, I'll roll it right a little bit, yeah.
Um, so that's one thing. That's too deep of a grab yes, there. You got You're it. Okay. have to back up. Yeah, part of this connection is kind of a plunger action, and it needs some space to move back. All right. No, it's We're not a sweet grab. You're still off. I want to get it perfect. I got it all night. You good with that, or you want me no, to? No, I want it right in the middle, with the jaws not extended past the uh, horizontal bit. Trust me, you'll you'll thank me when you try to <laughs> plug it in. <laughs> yeah, there. Not good. Yeah, that should work. You got Grip Force 9 on now? Uh, yes. Oh. So, uh, let's get just a little more bite on it there. Okay. Should be able to line the jaws up with the, uh... There you go. And then you'll want to make sure you got jaw lock on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I did a release. Still a quarter inch past the end of the paddle. Okay, release. Release. There you go. Okay, I want to um, leave the arms out where we can just see them in the camera, so get your uh, camera in a flight position, where you can just see the bottom of the porch, that's centered up. Just a wee more, maybe. Just a touch. That's good. Okay, Danny, I want to see that connector just in the right side of the camera, so don't move your camera, Jake. Okay. I want to move uh, Mongo. Yeah. Is that what you want, Dan? Yeah, you can swing right a little bit more and come left. I want to make sure you're tucked all the way in. And we want to have Mongo in the same place, Jake, because you're going to okay. fly it in for a grab. So it's going to want to be sticking out just a little bit more than the than the craft. Okay. And there's a um, there's a horizontal D rubber handle right above all the connectors. You've seen them. I, I have don't not. Know if you remember? No. So there's a whole bunch of connectors really low, about probably maybe a foot out of the mud if we're lucky. Okay. And then right above that is a long D rubber handle, double D rubber. So um, you're going to want to have the magnum a little lower and closer to the porch. Okay. You're gonna, and the closer into the vehicle it is, the better, because okay. um, A, you can see it better, and B, it's not a giant moment when you... Okay, so I'm going to go sh shoulder up or wrist down, right? And I'd wrist stitch up a bit more, maybe. Mm -hmm. You might ride a little lower, but... And if you want, you can move it out of your way. You can swing that arm to the right just a bit more, Danny. We just need to see a little bit of the connector. Just make sure it's tucked all the way in, eh? Shoulder all the way up, and... You can actually hit um, number two on bubble cam, I think, uh, with your mouse on the screen there. Or Jake can. It's two or three, I can't remember. Must be three. That's gauges, I think. Yeah, gauges are great. <laughs>
So you can um, freeze the craft and be, you're going to have to um, close Jaws for him when he flies it in. So you're going to need a hand on your mouse there on your, be on that page. How am I on Mongo position? I think you're all right. I don't know. Can't see anything until you come up out of the mud. All right. So when you're coming in, um, so note right now, that's a pretty good heading. So note that heading, whatever, 225. 225, yep. Um, as soon as you lift off, you can kick in auto heading. And when you're flying in to make the grab, don't change your heading, just easy, lateral. Okay. Uh -huh. And then once you get close, you know, I want to drift into it really slow, like docking a boat. I don't want to hit the dock too fast. All right. But I would advise to come up and um, just keep it there in your sonar. All right. Should clear her up as soon as it, and just let her float up, eh? Don't trust up. All right, yep. You might have to pull back on your Z bias a little to get your thrusters to null. It's going up. So as soon as you come up, start lateral and right a little, and okay. kick in uh, auto out. Or just watch your altitude there. So yeah. You're up three meters now. Come back down a little. Come back down a little more. Underneath you. Lost it in you the can sonar. Kick in, uh, Auto X, Y, two. Okay. Kick in uh, auto altitude. See what happens. And you'll have to come down a little. So maybe take your auto depth off and just ease her down. Should be right in front of you. Mm, I think it's to your right a bit, Dick. It should be right here. To so the right? right. Yeah, so come out of RXY and uh, you can watch your nav screen there. It should be spot on in this depth. I'm going to slide to your lateral right a little. You can see where the cable's going. If you hit it, you're too close. <laughs> I think that cable is might be picking up some tension. Okay. When you're holding, just just keep an eye on it as you're flying. Yeah, you lost yeah, it. You, you might want to back up. I'm drifting forward. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. You see that on the screen? Just let the current push you back a little. Because it's like right here, and this is where we were plugging things in and out. I'm screen and your sonar and your other cameras.
then you're on the back deck of the ship and it's dark and you have a little pencil flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you can see right. it. You can see it? See it in the sonar? Oh yeah, there we go. So if you hold that altitude and okay. sneak up on it in your sonar. You're drifting now uh, to the northeast a little. You come just a little to your uh, west. Farther away, Jake. Farther away. Yeah, and you're also coming up. You can kind of tell where you are with the green cable, too. Yep. There you go. That's what you want. You can, uh, I don't know how your Z bias is. Is that holding you? Yeah. Where you want to be? It's all right. Yeah. Keep sliding right. Sure. Keep coming right. See the other cable you have for reference? Yeah. I think you're going to have to come to your right another meter or so. Maybe in the mud there. Oh, yeah, I'm on the ground. Okay, coming up a bit. Spot number three from the left. So you want to be um, at deep rubber there. You want to be all the way. Empty spot on the left. On the left. Uh, okay. Right down below. Right uh, down, down below. Here somewhere, yeah. Okay. Down, down below that spot there. If you can't grab it, you can just. You'll see the. Right there. But that's the deep see rubber. I would grab. It should be all in this line, and it's kind of over here. Okay. I'm in the mud. Okay, grab that D rubber, the magnum, Danny. Grab the. Did you hear me? Yes. See that D rubber right there? Yeah. You want to grab a hold of that with a magnum? Okay. Or so Jake can just scoot forward a little until he hits it. I think it's that, that, that rail right there. This is it right here. Oh, sorry, I can't hear you. Looks like we're just above it. Maybe by shoulder down? Yeah. Okay, we're sitting on top of it. Okay, I can back up a switch. No, don't move the vehicle, move the arm. You're in the mud now, right? Yeah. I think we're on. I think I'm on top of it though with Mongo. Yeah. Um, pick the shoulder up, Danny. 
back out. Yeah, close it down. Now drag the vehicle out. Which lock? Now drag the vehicle out. No, you're you're good. Right good? there. Actually you can uh, turn off your auto head and your brits and let it float up a little and we'll get some this. You'll have to um Put a little forward on. Just a little bit forward, no down turn. Okay, bring the elbow on the magnum in, Danny. What do you want? Elbow down. Elbow down? Yeah. Bring the vehicle closer to the... And shoulder up. Shoulder up. This is so. <laughs> I guess what uh, connector was it again? I heard you say earlier, but in there somewhere. Or Roger. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I can't hear you, mate. You have to speak up. Oh, there we go. Is that better? Yeah. No. Nope. No, still not good. What are you, science, right? Yeah, I'm on SPL. What's that? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, barely. That's strange. Here, how's that? That's better. Okay, so we've got one that's horizontal, one that's vertical, and then the next one over is here, and that's the one we're looking for. All right, the one that's but being occluded by the cable? Yeah, that one. So Roger. hopefully by that cable right. back there, yeah. As soon as it clears up a little bit, I'll see if I can stab it. Bap that cable out of the way. It's gonna stir the viz, so you can use the tool you got. Do you want me to just get lined up and try to get lined up right now? I would take, uh, if the back row's okay with it, I would just nudge that green cable off of the other ODI connector there to your right. Yeah, that's exactly it. And m just make sure you move really slow in here, Danny, so. Tell me if you want to, me to tilt down. What's that? And Talk to Danny. Oh. Keep in mind that st coming straight down at that 90 off this connector, it's pretty stiff, that potting. Yeah. Let's so you might interfere with that yeah. por porch. You can turn it out of the way for now, just like you were doing. Are you uh, yeah, watch just back watch or racked out now, I'm racked back. Mm, so you see where the arm is, Danny? Yeah. Yeah, you want to... Uh, and you see how the yaw is hard over right now? Yeah. So we want to swing the arm to the right and bring the yaw to the left. So I bring the shoulder back up a little. Bring the yaw to the left at the same time. Get it back in the sweet spot. Because right now you're hobbling yourself. So bring your yaw to the left. I think you're touching now. I want to see the end of the connector, maybe. Yeah. The yaw, stop, Danny, stop. The yaw joint, the one right there in front of the camera? Yeah. Make that go left. That's this one, wrist left. That's right. There you go. Keep coming left. Keep coming left. Okay, now pick up the shoulder a little. I'll try and put the connector right in the middle of the camera. That's what I wanted. <laughs> 
Okay. Now you can swing the whole arm to the right and keep bringing that wrist to the left a little. And I'll get the manipulator out of our face, and then when you come down, you're coming down into the platform, not across the vehicle like this. You can't hear me? Yeah, it's just a little quiet. How about now? Oh, it's great. <laughs> so what you were doing there, you had the arm swung in front of the vehicle. So we swung the arm out like this, and you were li you were like this. Yeah. So now we're more like this. Okay. So you can actually go like this a little bit more, so we can see the end of the connector closer than the arm itself. You keep swinging your wrist to the right, you want to swing it to the left. There you go. That's now I can see the connector. I don't care about the manipulator. I want to see the connector. Okay, hold what you got there. Um, see how it popped when you got closer to the camera. So, um, what we're worried about, obviously, is the end of the connector. We don't want it out in the dark, bashing around in the other connectors and cables. And we know the manipulator is now tucked in, even though we can't see it. So now Jake's going to look down just a little bit. And um, let's try swinging the magnum azimuth or magnum shoulder to the right a little bit. Still on it, or we come off? It looks like we came off. Oh, uh, yeah, the jaws look closed. Yeah. So we need to get back on it there without disturbing the other connectors. Uh, they, uh, just down, put it down a little, nice and easy. And a little forward when you come down. Uh, Coming down, Jake. Down, down, yep, down. Coming down, coming down. Yep. Easy, easy. <laughs> you have to get right friendly with it to see it. Maybe sliding back. Sliding back. Yeah, um, the way you can tell by the cable there. Follow the green cable. We're two meters back now. Behind me to the right. Yeah, Looks your like head's come to the left a little, so you'll want that 225 heading back. Yep. Otherwise, we'll be. You can actually kick it a little more. The 225. Yeah, that's it. Walk right in there. Okay. Just a little if you want. 